What's up? I trust you are well. In this video, we're gonna build a Python random password generator. This is the last exercise challenge for day 5 of my 100 days of code course. The code begins by specifying the letters of the alphabet in lowercase and in uppercase that are in a list, then followed by numbers also in the list, and finally symbols. These are the most commonly accepted characters you can use when creating passwords to any website you sign up to. Then we have a print statement welcoming the user to the Python password generator. Then some user input statements in terms of how many letters, symbols, and numbers do you want in your password. We will be needing the random module function here to generate for us the random letters, symbols, and numbers. The first part of this exercise is to generate a password with, for instance, four letters, two symbols, and two numbers where the order is not randomized, meaning the output should be arranged as four letters, two symbols, and two numbers. The second part of this exercise is the upgrade version of the first part where after specifying the user input, you need to combine them all and randomize them. So let's get started. The process is to use the for loop function to get the random letters, symbols, and numbers according to the user input. So we can say for letter in range 0 to n are letter, if the user wants 4 letters for instance for the password, the range will be from 0 to 3 which gives us 4 characters. You may write it range from 1 to n are letter plus 1. Next, let's create a new variable called random letters, which is equals to the random.choice letters. If you are interested in learning Python, I'll put the link to the course in the description. Next line will be password letters. It's a new variable which is equals to password letters plus random letters. Pay attention to the warning next to the line number which tells us that we need to specify the initial value of the password letters variable. So let's add it before the loop begins by saying password letter is equals to open and close double quote which means a blank string. Then finally let's print the output using the print statement which is print password letters. Take note of the indentation. If you put it inside the for loop, it will continue to print until the loop stops. And it's okay if you want to see what's going to happen, but I only want to see the final output so I will remove the indentation. By the way, line 24 code can be written as password letters plus equals random letters. And we are done with the letters. Do the same code arrangement for symbols and numbers. You may copy and paste the code if you think it will be quicker for you than typing again those lines of code. Then don't forget to replace all letters wordings with symbols or numbers.
Alright, it's time now to combine all these characters to form a random password by assigning it to a variable called random password. You may give it a different name, which is equals to the new value of our password letters. plus password symbols plus password numbers finally to complete the first part of this challenge let's create a print statement so print random password and give it a test Cool, let's move now to the hard level, where instead of having the generated password in letters, symbols, and number sequence, we will randomize it at this level. I haven't seen the solution from our instructor, but after googling, I found out that I can use the function called random.shuffle. This function doesn't work with a string. It cannot accept a string argument. The first thing we need to do is to convert the random password from line 44 to a list. Let's do that by saying new list is equals to list random password. Then let's view the result using the print statement by saying print new list. Next, let's reshuffle it by saying random that shuffle new list Then let's view the result using the print statement by saying print new list.
Finally, time to join back those characters in a list using the join function. Then let's view the final result using the print statement by saying print final password. There you have it. It's time now to compare my solution to my instructor's solution. Thank you for watching this far, and if you are interested to know what I'm learning in this 100 days of code online course, why don't you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be notified of my future video uploads. Have a great day and thank you once again for watching. Cheers!